Earlier this year, most of the gender neutral bathrooms in the school were changed to staff bathrooms. This leaves only one gender neutral bathroom left in the school, which is located in guidance. We spoke to students about their opinions on the change and Ms. Valencourt to learn more about the reasoning behind it. My opinion on the bathroom being closed is that all of them should be open because you never know what students will have medical issues and need to access them at all times and it can really just cause an inconvenience to everybody. The bathrooms being closed have affected me because they're causing overcrowding and long lines so it's taking away from my learning time and I'm getting in trouble more frequently because of it. No, having bathroom monitors is not okay at all. That's your own privacy, your own area where you can not be monitored 24-7. So having someone stand in there is rude. It's invasive. I think it's almost offensive. There are students who need to go do things, either be feminine or they just have to go do something. And with the bathrooms being closed, it's limiting that supply that we might need, especially with the gender neutral bathrooms. My opinions on the bathrooms being closed, I think it's acceptable because of what has happened in the past, but at the same time, I feel like uh, people kind of need that freedom and it takes an extra few minutes to walk up from the ground floor to go to the first floor. Um, I think they should just be open maybe during certain times and maybe have someone watching it. I think it's a couple things, and right, this is just my speculation. So we have ninth graders who are in the building who have not been in school formally since sixth grade. They're missing all of that culture of what happens in a high school and what um, we have built as a community, right? We have always had a certain way that we move around this building and we talk to each other and we kind of exist together, but they've missed that as um, you know, a part of who we are. And so we have to rebuild that trust and rebuild that community. They haven't been in school, so they're still learning how to be students and how to um, respect themselves and our school and each other enough to exist here. So a lot of it has to do with staffing. And so once we have more staffing, we'll be able to allow students to regain some of those freedoms. Although, like I said, in Hello Hamp, um, we have had quite a bit of destruction to in the school since um, the beginning of the school year. So we've had toilet seats that have been um, broken, like the seats, broken in half, um, that's in the second floor girls bathroom. We have had locker room toilet seat that has been covered and doused in paint. We have had um, hand sanitizer dispensers ripped off walls and air, you know, the air dryers ripped off walls. All of those um, and all of that destruction is really hard to um, to stop without the support of the student body. We will continue to report on this issue as the story continues to develop. Thanks for watching and see you next week.